This is a demonstration of exact rebar, estimating and detailing reinforcing steel from a PDF. Firstly bring in the PDF, take a snapshot. Return to exact rebar, paste it. Zoom in, rolling the mouse. Obviously this is out of scale. This line should be 3 to 80 long. Now the drawing is to scale. Assume we want to take a estimate and detail this footing here. Plan new beam slab rectangle. Click on the bottom left, top right. Now returning to the PDF and looking at the cross section. This is the cross section in question. It is 200 deep by 390 wide. Back to exact rebar, we could correct the width to 390 and the depth is 200. Now we have the same footing in plan, elevation and cross section. Returning to the PDF and again taking a snapshot. Back to exact rebar, edit, paste. Zooming in again, and again this is out of scale. And that is 390. Now select the graphic and drag it over the drawn footing and line it up. And it aligns perfectly. Now we wish to draw the stirrup or the starter. We click on stirrups and transfer steel. Now it's not very clear, but it's an R10 at 600 centers. So select R10 and we're going to trace on center line. Draw stirrup. We can draw the hook now, but it's better to do it later. Simply trace over the starter or the stirrup. And that is a 400 lap, so we could increase that to 400. Finish. Now we need to add a bend. We want to add a bend at the start. We want a 180 degree bend. And the advantage of doing this now is it's going to add five diameters after the bend as per code. It's drawn in black. We just keep. Now we have finished drawing our starter. Except obviously this can't be delivered to site, so we need to straighten this up so the block layer can get his blocks over the bar. So we click on straighten. We just want to straighten the end. Click on straighten the end and the steel straightened is drawn in black. We say yes. And we want to straighten it again. Now it is drawn vertically. So now we have finished drawing our stirrup or our starter. We need to place it into the beam. So the first length is 75 mils, which is zero, no spacing. And the second length is 8272 less 75, which is 8197. And the spacing's at 600. Alternatively to putting in the length, we can just simply say L minus twice the cover, which is 150. Now click on add stirrups. And the stirrups are added into the footing. We're going to close and now we put in the longitudinal and again it's not very clear but the longitudinal is a D12 and we'll draw longitudinal and we'll draw that longitudinal. To draw these other two we can do them one at a time but it's simpler to do them in one go with changing the number to two. Draw longitudinal finish. Now we have our longitudinal drawn, we can turn the graphics off and on again. So selecting the longitudinal and zooming in, we would like to bend those longitudinal around that corner. So we first of all we need to extend them and we need to extend at the start and we want to extend them to the right 
and click on extend for corner and it can be seen that they're extending. Okay. Now we want to add a bend. We want to bend at the start 90 degrees and the length is 480 which is 40D and including the bend and we want it in millimetres. The steel is shown bent. Keep. We've now finished drawing that footing. Returning to the plan view. Now this footing here is the same cross section so we select that the same way. Click on the start. The width is 390. Now the elevation in this case is going the other way so we need to change the elevation to the top. Now rather than draw it again we can simply select the last one. Select the stirrup. Add stirrups. Select the longitudinal and we want to extend it into that beam. This time it's at the end. Extend for corner, keep, add bend, keep, close, close, finished. We've done two footings. We can put that into 3D. We can view a colour map. We can now go to the quote screen and get a bill of materials. We've got a shop drawing showing the individual steel details. We've got an optimization report which will optimize the steel for us and several other reports. So that is a very brief demonstration on how we can estimate and detail reinforcing steel from a PDF using exact rebar.